Good morning, dear students. How are you? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we are going to continue activity 5, the root of nutrients and what happens to nutrients at the end of digestion. Last time we have explained that nutrients pass from the small intestine to the blood, except fatty acids and the glycerol pass from the small intestine into the lymph. Toward the lymph. Okay? The lymph is the lymph is the same as the blood. The lymph is the same blood. But the fatty acid and the glycerol are not taken directly by blood. Okay? Type. Uh, after their passage, blood distributes these nutrients to all body organs. Here we have the definition of absorption, passage of nutrients from the small intestine to blood and lymph, أكيد through villi. لأن الشعيرات الموجودين بالأوعية الدموية بال small intestine. طبعاً villi we cannot see them by naked eyes. ما فيني شوفهم بالعين المجردة. يعني أنا هلا إذا بجيب مصران بطلع جواته بقلبه بقلبه مثل ال مثل ما في مثل الوبر جواته. How the ridges. على كل ridge there are a lot of the lie, a lot of the lie, okay? So uh, we have about 10 million, 10 million the lie in the small intestine. It's a huge number, okay? Right. This is, these are the lie under the microscope. Inside each villus, there is network of blood vessels and lymphatic vessels. You see here. These are intestinal cells. طبعاً هم هو nutrients pass to blood. أما the orange اللي هن lipids as the fatty acid and the glycerol pass to lymph. Okay. So all the nutrients, fatty acid and the glycerol pass from the small intestine to lymphatic vessels, while other nutrients pass to blood, which in turn distribute them to all body organs. Here we have definition on of lymph. Colorless fluid comes out from the blood and bathes cells. يعني إحنا خلينا في بينات السوائل. هاو دي السوائل اسمه lymph. هني مصدر lymph أصلاً. The source of lymph is blood. هو مثله مثل الدم بس ما عدا ما في بقلبه red blood cells. يعني ما له لون أحمر. هو white blood cells and the plasma سائل الدم. Okay? It flows through lymphatic vessels. طيب. Now we are going to talk about the characteristics that favor absorption at the level of the small intestine. طب شو اللي بيخلي small intestine عنده القدرة إنه يمتص absorb nutrients. أول شغلة the small intestine has a thin wall. You see here like the villus. It's one layer of cell. طبعا من الخلايا. يعني it's very 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 thin. لما تكون very 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 thin يعني it's easy for nutrients to pass through it. The small intestine is rich in blood vessels. You see, the small intestine is very rich in blood vessels. غني كتير بالأوعية الدموية. كل ما كان في دم أكتر كل ما سهل عملية الامتصاص. فإذا أول two characteristics: thin wall, جذاب أو إيه. يعني ما في فرق كتير مسافة بين nutrients here and the blood. So nutrients pass through this wall, which is very very thin. Okay, very very Thin type. Uh, now, the four, third characteristic: the small intestine has a large surface area. قلنا في بقلب folds تعوجات. How the folds بزيد the surface area مساحته. And you know, you know, as the area increases, more and more and more nutrients can pass. كل ما كانت المساحة أكبر كل ما عدد أكبر من nutrients بيمر. These three characteristics are very, 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 very important to study. بالامتحان الرسمي كتير بيمروا. Okay. طيب. Here, this table shows us the quantity of nutrients in the blood. كمية الغذاء بالدم before a meal. قبل ما يأكل وبعد ما يأكل. انتبهوا مش بال small intestine بال blood. قبل ما يأكل كانت كمية الجلوكوز one gram per liter. يعني بكل لتر دم في 1 جرام اوف جلوكوز اند امينو اسيد 0.4 اجينا عند هذا الشخص طعمينا اكل وجبه غذائيه عاديه يو سي هير افتر ا ميل ذا اماونت اوف جلوكوز ان بلاد انكريزز تو 2 
and the amount of amino acids increased to 0.7. But them said that the glucose will amino acid. From where did they come? من نن إجوا from the small intestine. لأنه بس أكل الميل هيدا الشخص الغذاء تحول أو الأكل تحول change digested into nutrients such as glucose and amino acids. هلا مش عم نقيس ال nutrients البقيين. The glucose and amino acids passed مبقو from small intestine to blood مبقو مثل ما شايفين هون small intestine to blood. So their amount in the blood increased. Now I want to compare here. أنا إذا بدي قارن بقول لك compare the amount of nutrients before and after a meal in the blood ممنوع تقارن جلوكوز مع أمينو أسيدز ما إلن علاقة ببعضهم هودي two different nutrients you cannot compare them you can compare جلوكوز before and after a meal وأمينو أسيدز before and after a meal and you have to use greater than or more than less than or equal look I'm going to compare after a meal and before a meal for جلوكوز I say the quantity of nutrients glucose, the quantity of nutrient glucose in the blood, okay, after a meal is 2 gram per liter. Greater than that, or more than that, or double than that, at the amount of Double than that, before a meal, that يعني glucose, before a meal, which is, or which was 1 gram per liter. Similarly, نفس الشيء. The quantity of amino acid nutrient, amino acid in the blood after a meal was 0. Point, or is 0. 0.7 gram per liter greater or more than that before a meal which is 0. 0.4 gram per liter. هلا حدا بيقول لي ما فيني قارن بالعكس ال1 مع ال2 بلا صح فيني اقول the quantity of glucose in the blood before a meal was 1 gram per liter half at most or less than that after a meal which is 2 gram per liter بس انا بفضل لانه قد عمرتين او قد نصها نقول هاف هلا اذا قلنا less than that وحطينا بين brackets half قد نصها بيمشي الحال يعني 1 قد نص اثنين also او similarly نفس الشيء the amino acids before a meal quantity of amino acids before a meal was 0.4 gram per liter ضروري بيقول اليونت less than that after a meal which is 0.7 gram per liter this is comparison if I want to analyze كمان الجلوكوز والامينو اسيدز فيني امشي فيهم مع بعضهم اوكي بس انا في بد لازم اقول انكريز او ديكريز او كونستنت حسب شو هي الحاله ما بقول مور ذان ولس ذان هون اوكي سو ذا كوانتيتي اوف جلوكوز او امينو اند امينو اسيدز ان ذا بلاد واز 1 جرام بير لتر للجلوكوز اند 0.4 جرام بير لتر فور امينو اسيدز ذا انكريز افتر ا ميل from 1 to 2 gram per liter for a glucose and from 0.4 to 0.7 gram per liter for amino acids. If a hada stasaba, okay, fi ul, the quantity of glucose before a meal was 1 gram per liter, it increased to 2 after a meal, gram per liter. Similarly, the amino acids was 0.4 before a meal, it increased to 0.7 gram per liter after a meal. But I don't think we're going to do it together. مع بعضهم يعني نقول before a meal the quantity of glucose and amino acids were or was 1 gram per liter and 0.4 gram per liter respectively لاثنين يعني الأولى للجلوكوز والثانية للأمينو أسيدز they increased to 2 gram per liter for glucose and 0.7 gram per liter for amino acids after a meal what can you conclude here we can conclude one idea إنه بعد الأكل زاد نسبة الجلوكوز وزاد نسبة الأمينو أسيدز يعني blood absorbs جلوكوز عم يمتصن and أمينو أسيدز blood absorbs عم يمتص الجلوكوز والأمينو أسيد وإلا ليش ارتفعت نسبة الجلوكوز والأمينو أسيد بعد الأكل from where from the small intestine أكيد from the small intestine okay so uh, here also the last idea you have to know that not all food not all types of food are digested in the body. For example, we have plant fibers, al alyaf al nabatiya. Al alyaf al nabatiya. You see here, for example, this is a lettuce. Wa bait khas, lettuce leaf. Okay, you see inside it? Hawd al khtout. Okay? Hawd al khtout. Kilun li shayfinun al damkun. Okay? They are called plant fibers. Plant fibers. Al alyaf al nabatiya. Plant fibers, the alyaf, the nabatiya. Okay, 
The plant fibers are made up of a chem of a substance called cellulose. Cellulose, نوع من أنواع السكريات. Oz. Cellulose. It's a type of sugar polysaccharide, and it's digested by an enzyme called cellulase. نحنا as human, we don't have cellulase. ما عنا هذا الإنزيم. يعني this indicates that we are are not able to digest cellulose. يعني جسمنا ما عنده القدرة يهضم السيلولوز هالألياف النباتية. طيب what happens to these plant fibers inside our body? Body cannot digest them, so small intestine try more and more and more to digest them. لأنه ما عندهم إنزيم يهضمون فال small intestine بتصير تشد على حالة وتحاول تهضمون أكثر. So they increase the activity of small intestine. Small intestine بهالطريقة بيكون عم بيزيد نشاطه. Fibers are very, very, very important to us because they increase, activate intestinal movement. بنشطولنا الأمعاء وعندنا بيحبسوا ماي جواتهم. They store water. Okay. يعني they are beneficial for us. مفيدين. They give us water. بيمنعوا ارتفاع الكوليسترول الدهون السيئة بالجسم. بيمنعوا امتصاصها. كمان they prevent diarrhea. إسهال بيمنعوا الإسهال and they prevent constipation بيمنعوا الإمساك because they store water لأنهم بخزنوا مي because they store water inside them so plant fibers are not digested in the body because they don't have enzyme to digest them so they are very beneficial for us they are useful for us they activate our intestinal movement and they prevent diarrhea and constipation. That's why you should eat fibers, plants, يعني خضار, vegetables every day to get more and more and more fibers. Okay. Now you have to solve the application. This application. Okay. All questions you can solve them now based on these documents. B, C. These are documents. سميهن أنا الدوكيمنتس أوكي هيو This is document A This is document B and C You have to be to solve this question based on the documents أوكي All these documents From question 1 to question 6 You can solve them dear students And I wish you good luck